Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. We begin tonight with the investigation into a series of homeless attacks. The photo you're going to see on the left has been released by police in the nation's capital, while the NYPD searches for the suspect on the right. And authorities in both cities tell us they believe it's the same person. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon is live from Tribeca, where yet another incident could be connected. Kevin? And Jessica, this is still an active investigation with investigators still out here at this hour. What we know from this scene is that a 42 year old homeless man was found dead with puncture wounds. Not clear if he was stabbed or if he was shot, but it is part of a very disturbing trend that now st stretches well beyond New York City. The third homeless New Yorker attacked this weekend was found dead along Greenwich and Murray Streets. Police say officers spoke with him at around six in the morning offered him a bottle of water and let him know of the other two attacks on Saturday. He decided to stay. His death is now being investigated alongside the deadly attack on Lafayette Street and another shooting on Saturday morning on King Street near Varick. That victim is at the hospital recovering. The NYPD in a joint press release with Metro Police in D.C. say between the two cities, there have been five shootings, including two homicides. In each offense, the victims were experiencing homelessness. They believe they're after the same suspect. They released these new images in hopes of getting the public's help. The NYPD commissioner says our homeless population is one of our most vulnerable, and an individual preying on them as they sleep is an exceptionally heinous crime. We'll use every tool, every technique, and every partner to bring the killer to justice. Meanwhile, at the scene of one of the shootings, advocates came out for a prayer vigil, calling on the city and state to do more for the homeless. How many more homeless New Yorkers must die? The group Vocal NY says recent efforts to remove homeless people from the subway system has only made things worse. This is not the time to blame and point fingers at the most vulnerable community members. Somehow, those experiencing street homelessness have become public enemy number one. Some lawmakers were part of the group. They say the solution has to go well beyond shelters and requires permanent housing. I hope New Yorkers understand that we've lost one of our own. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I'm That's right. concerned that too many New Yorkers have become desensitized to the issues of homelessness. It is a tragic failure of our city now for a generation to provide adequate services, to provide adequate resources, and most of all, to provide adequate housing, adequate safe spaces for people to live. And back out here live, Jessica, we know investigators are still trying to find out if this incident is tied to the other five attacks. And while the search for the suspect does continue, we know that uh, here in New York, police have tried to reach out to as many homeless individuals as possible to try and notify them of the potential dangers of being out on the streets. We're live in Tribeca, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. It's terrifying. Thank you, Kevin.